Welcome to Assist My Team Small and Medium Business Solutions. In this demonstration, we will explore the Outlook Views, which are specific to Team Time Sheet. Outlook Views are a wonderful tool to automatically sort, quickly find information, and rapidly rearrange Outlook items in any folder. Views can also be organized to group and filter items to make a particular feature of your information obvious at first glance. Team Timesheet provides you with a set of 13 special Outlook views in every calendar and task folder. You can access these from the Views drop-down menu, located in the Team Timesheet toolbar. All Team Timesheet views are organized in a way that they bring out some sense out of the timesheets, such as patterns, hierarchies, associations, occurrences, or dependencies. These special views can help you to work with timesheets and your project's deliverables in a simpler and sensible way in your Outlook. Now, let us explore the first view, which is the reported ID view. In this stable view, all the published Outlook items are arranged by a unique report identification number field in ascending order. The project and activity fields are also visible in the view. The second is the reported state view, where all the Outlook items are grouped by the published and unpublished items. That is, published items will be grouped under Yes flag and the unpublished items under the No flag. You can easily differentiate published items from those that are not by the presence of the identification number value. As the unpublished items are grouped separately, you can simply select all or multiple items from this particular group to publish to share a point. The third view is the project and activity view. Here in this view, all the Outlook items are first grouped by project and then subgrouped by activity value to form a hierarchy tree representation of all Outlook items. This arrangement may prove useful to track and pinpoint a specific project or task or to get the number of items belonging to a specific project or activity or simply just to have a listing that is better organized and summarized. You can also easily swap or change project or activity by dragging an item from one group or subgroup to another. Now, let us explore the fourth view. This project view groups all the Outlook items by the assigned project. You can also see the activity, location, the timeline of the project, and the published date in this view. Consider a scenario where a particular project had expired, and you need to change those items having the expired project to a new valid project. Instead of tagging the new project to each item manually, with this view, you can simply drag the group header of the expired project and drop it to the new project that you intend to use it. Doing so, all the items for that expired project are transferred to the new project in just a single operation. The activity view groups all Outlook items by the assigned activity of a particular project. The due date view groups Outlook task items by their due date. This gives a timeline view of the project deliverables member had to attend to. This view also displays the total number of items per day in the group header that are due over time. The next view is items without project. In this view, the Outlook items that are already associated with the project are filtered out and hidden to only show those items that have empty project. Similarly, in this items without activity view, Outlook items that are already associated with an activity are filtered out and hidden to only show those items that have empty activity. Like the preceding two views, the items without project and activity view only shows those Outlook items that have empty project and empty activity. The reported items view only display those Outlook items that have been reported to SharePoint. Unreported items are filtered out and hidden. You will also notice that reported items have a numeric value in the identification field. Likewise, the unreported items view only show those Outlook items that are not reported yet. Unreported items will have empty value in the identification field. Reported items are filtered out and hidden. This is the calendar view of reported items, and it shows only the reported items in a calendar. This view function like any other normal Outlook calendar view. The only difference is that, unreported items are filtered out and hidden. 
you can use the month, week, or day view on this calendar view too. Same as the one we just looked, the calendar view of unreported items shows only the unreported items in a calendar view. So, as we have seen, with these special Outlook views, one can easily organize and present the project information in Outlook items in an understandable and intuitive way, making it very easy in locating information when it is required. This concludes this video tutorial on Outlook Views 14 Timesheet.